Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Thanks for joining the Sharks Fan TV with myself, Humphrey. Uh, welcome to the post-match review of the Lions vs. Sharks uh, that was played on Saturday the 19th. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the game, what happened during the game, and then uh, I'm going to give you a few stats and uh, what I think of the game. So, thanks for joining in once again. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you like the video, let the channel grow. So, let's go, guys. So, first of all, guys, the Sharks lost 27-12 uh, at Ellis Park. And, yeah, I thought the game was a bit... We didn't get into rhythm. You know, we, 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 we didn't actually get into the game. We were trying our hardest. And uh, the, 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 the Lions, it just shows, like, in the Curry Cup season, they've been having... A very tough uh, defense they've been having a very resolute defense where they have not considered more tries than other teams and it showed they blocked us from even getting a try we didn't get the try those 12 points came from the boot of Corin Bosch they had two tries and a few penalties I gotta say also we were very indisciplined I've never seen us getting this indisciplined before even when we were playing the Super Rugby before COVID-19 hit and we went into lockdown. We were never this um, uh, messy. We didn't we didn't drop the ball, but it wasn't really very, you know, we, we weren't quick in the racks. We were so messy. We were so, uh, how can I put it? Uh, we were so untidy in, 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 in racks, in scrums. I think our props really, um, the replacement props actually really suffered uh, at the hands of the props of, of, of the Lions. Willem Alberts, who used to play for us actually, he really uh, was dominant in the air, he was, was there in the locks. We lost a uh, few lineouts here and there. We were not even contesting the lineouts that they, they were throwing their, their way. So in terms of that, I, I mean, like uh, you can just see the game was sleeping um, during halftime and when we came after the halftime, I thought we started really strong. We started pushing in their territory. And we've uh, also got in the uh, scoreboard in the, the first. We had a penalty. And I thought we were going to bring it level and we we're going to progress from there. But ultimately, guys, we were just not, you know, getting into our rhythm. Um, I, I'm going to read you a few of the stats that I have here from the game. Uh, so obviously we lost 27-12. The Bulls had two tries, courtesy of uh, Tian Swanepoel, their um, their number 15 fullback, and Connor Skosan, uh, the blindside wing. And I think he had a, a good game for them, uh, especially Tian Swanepoel. Uh, he scored. We we only thought that uh, Bosch was the one who can keep those long. Or, or deeper kicks but this guy also has a boot and he had two uh, penalty conversions that uh, gave them six points he scored them um, Yantis also put in one conversion and three penalties uh, that boosted their score uh, going into um, the possession they had less possession than us we had 51 they had 49 but they played in our territory every time we go into their territory we either make a mistake or we, we, we lose a ball it was driving me mad sometimes it was very um heartening to watch you know you can't get a hold of your um of the ball just properly uh, we used to give the balls they used to have uh, they, they had a lot of turnovers in our racks um, in our scrums even when when we had the scrums the more the, the scrum was collapsing a lot and we were giving them the possession uh, when it came to racking we were very untidy Marius Law gave them the first penalty I remember and yeah, from there our, our our racks were just not clean they had many turnovers so apart from those uh, possession they had 79 passes we had 94 so we we passed the ball a lot but we passed it in our territory you know and it came to show um we had two of loads and they had three um we had 15 turnovers conceded when i was talking about the racks 
where we were we were just diving into rock sometimes or we were too late and they they, they were very contest they, they were very contestable rocks which they contested uh, they contested strongly uh, villa Margots once again he was there all the time winning uh, the turnovers and also uh, their number five so we, they had 15 turnovers we had only 14. Um, our defense looking at their defense they had 102 tackles and we only had 90. we we missed 17 tackles you know that that, that got that got out um out of the way uh turnovers we all we won six but they won four uh i think here we're talking about scrimmages we we won all the six scrums that we have um the turnovers sorry um in terms of line outs and and uh, racks and then we had uh the kicking of course um they had 18 percent kicks in play um their kicks were going into touch some of us were, uh, some of ours were not finding touch um they had uh four we had four penalty goals and they had five so we were very indisciplined giving away penalties most of the time uh no one had a drop goal um, and no one missed, but um, they they missed one penalty conversion, but ultimately it, it didn't matter to them. Um, let me tell you about the racks. Also, they they had forty one racks. We had fifty nine racks won, uh, but the, those were our racks. They we didn't have more turnovers, so that means we just won the racks that we we uh, had. Uh, they had more turnovers they had six uh we had uh, actually we had six racks uh lost they had only four um the lineouts we lost two and and also them they lost two they um won six scrums uh we won only two and uh, like i said our scrums were very weak and uh, they dominated us on the scrums each time we were collapsed collapsing the scrum and uh, they were given penalties and that's where more most of the penalties came from so 60 percent of the scrums uh, it's it's what they won uh of course no one had uh, yell uh, sin beans or red card so it was a clean game but it was very uh swayed in their favor they were more into it they wanted the the, the game more they wanted not to let down their coach more than uh we we ultimately didn't get into gear i i felt like we did not even push to higher gears to just get a hold of the game every time the game we we had possession the game got out of our way Spoo done well in the air but um you know this rush defense that we were employing it was only i think only him that was uh, was doing that him and uh, lucanio arm and it left a bit of um, gap at the back a little bit of us exposed Manny Libok also i don't i didn't even know he was playing in the game you know he was very uh, <laughs> guys it was very um uh, I can't tell where he was because every time he gets the ball, he either kicks it to back to them or kicks it into touch. Or we, are, we, we were not just passing the ball, flowing the ball. And uh, that ultimately showed they were very dominant in the way they approached the game, in the way that they um, just rushed the game and the game went past us. Um, the, the guy who I think had a good game let me just think i think it was um in our on our side i just think it was uh the wings yao and uh, Sbu. i think they actually tried better uh they showed their defensive resilience there as well um i think our forwards didn't have the greatest of games of course ox held his um you know held his own uh but ultimately you it's a prop it's a front row of three and you can't do it by yourself um so the 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 replacements that came i think even aston for 10 he actually was very non-existent i didn't see him the lineouts we didn't even contest i didn't see him really contesting the lineouts properly the 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 lions lineouts i'm talking about uh some of them we lost even and it was all an overthrow from kieran for i don't even know 
how we were communicating during the lineouts. We didn't employ that. Their malls were not uh, so much threatening, but they were better than us because uh, we didn't even employ malls. We didn't get to the to the point where we could have employed more malls to threaten uh, to score. And then another thing that I saw is uh, we went for more, you know, conversion kicking than uh, taking to touch. Um, trying the line out and, and ultimately getting a try. Even when you are like uh, a two score line um, uh, to get in, to get to them, I felt like we really made the decisions that were made were a bit strange to me. I felt like uh, we could have had we could have kicked to touch some of our penalties, put pressure on them, try to you know uh, go and play in their territory. But we we kicked yes, it, it some some worked. But um, the one time we went into touch, and I think that's why most of the time we didn't go into touch. The one time we went to, the, the, we, we just gave away possession and it was kicked back into our territory. So this game was ultimately pay, played in our territory more. We had more possession just because we were defending more and we had the ball. They, they didn't mind us playing the ball in our territory. And I think for our next game, uh, ultimately, I uh, think we should just improve on that. We should go. The good thing about this is we still have a game in hand, although now they have more points than us. They, they have one more point than us. But um, the next game, I feel like if we just continue to uh, do this, uh, what we did against Bulls, I think we will play better and we we shouldn't play in our territory uh, our kicking game against bulls we didn't employ in this game and that's what i think we should do in the next game the next picture will be against cheetahs on the 27th so just after boxing day um and um we'll have i think two more games to go we have a game in hand and i hope we win uh, both uh, three of uh, all three of those games because Bulls are still on top now the Lions have come and it doesn't get any easier guys because we still have Western Province to play and uh, Rikwas uh, so let's get uh, along the way uh, out of the way this Cheetahs game that's coming we move forward uh, we, we, we learn from our mistakes and hopefully we'll uh, do better against the Cheetahs so guys, that was it. Looking forward to the Cheetahs game uh, coming this weekend. Uh, I really want to see the team. Uh, I want to see if um, Hannah Andrews comes back. I want to see if those players who are out with uh, COVID-19 restrictions come back into play. Uh, we get our strongest team up there. Remember, we go into Free State and uh, ooh, it will be the first time we're playing against Franz Stein, of course our former player so i hope that we'll give him a kick in the backside and go come out there with with the uh, maximum points we we have to get bonus points guys i think we we should just go for bonus points because now bulls are still up there western province are coming and we saw that lions are you know just really really uh, strong up there i don't want to lose this cup it's our cup guys and i'm still hopeful that will still uh, lead the log table come the end of the season so that we win this cup so you know let's go sharks man let's come on and um, finally guys i hope you guys will have a merry christmas i hope you'll enjoy your holidays uh, due to restrictions of course we cannot uh, celebrate traditionally the way we celebrate but i hope in whatever capacity you can please stay safe uh, stay COVID free, take care of uh, each other, give love to one another and ultimately keep it black and white guys, nothing else matters. Thanks for watching.